Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel Material Welding offering free training in welding and NDT areas. If this is the first time you are viewing our learning videos, I want to say thank you very much for viewing our free learning videos and supporting us. And special thanks to our subscribers. As you will observe and learn, please note that each video takes so much time and efforts for the preparation. Each of our training videos is custom prepared to provide you best learning based on theory and practical approach. We have so much to offer via these free videos, so please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you again. Keep learning and sharing. Today's topic is, modes of metal transfer in gas metal arc welding or MIG or MAG welding. After completing this lesson, you will be able to 1. What are the different modes of metal transfer in GMW? 2. What is globular transfer mode? 3. What is pulse transfer mode? 4. What is short circuit transfer mode? 5. What is pulse transfer mode? 6. What are the advantages and limitations of different metal transfer mode in gas metal arc welding? In GMW there are four modes of metal transfer as shown here. Let us understand each mode, see how it works, and its advantages and limitations. First is globular transfer. In globular transfer, Transfer happen by gravity or short circuit. It requires CO2 shielding. In these modes, drops are larger than electrode hence severe spatter. We can use low voltage and bury arc to reduce spatter with the possibility to reduce spatters. This mode requires high current and voltage, so high distortion. Here welding current and wire speed are increased above maximum for short arc. In this Speeds of up to 110 mm s, 250 in mean, is achieved. Globular transfer mode droplets of metal have a greater diameter than the wire being used. Due to bigger droplets, spatter present in this process. It can only be used on ferrous metals. Welding is most effectively done in the flat position when using globular transfer and hence restrict this mode mostly for flat position welding applications. Let's see this video and understand how the transfer happen. Next mode of transfer in today's discussion is short circuit transfer. This mode is also called dip transfer mode. 1. This mode requires welding voltage less than 24 and current less than 200 ampere. 2. Here droplet stays attached and touches pool causing short circuit. 3. In this mode, current rises very quickly giving energy to pinch off droplet violently. 4. This mode similar to blowing a fuse and hence causes lot of spatters. 5. In this mode, droplet detaches, arc re-establishes and current falls. 6. In this mode, cycle occurs up to 200 times per second. Below are the advantages of short circuit mode. 1. Here low energy allows welding in all positions. 2. This mode is good for root runs in single-sided welds. 3. This mode is good for welding thin material. Below are the disadvantages of this mode. 1. This mode is prone to lack of fusion. 2. This mode may not be allowed for high integrity applications. 3. It tends to give spatter. See this video and understand how the transfer happens. Let's see this video and understand how the transfer happens. Now let us understand the spray transfer mode. When current and voltage are raised together, then higher energy. 
is available for fusion, typically more than 25 volts and more than 250 ampere. This causes a fine droplets of weld metal to be sprayed from the tip of the wire into the weld pool. This mode gives 1. Continuous transfer of metal 2. High voltage long arc 3. High heat input 4. Fluid weld pool 5. High deposition 6. No spatter. Transfer mode advantages are 1. High energy gives good fusion. 2. High rates of weld metal deposition are given. 3. These characteristics make it suitable for welding thicker joints. 4. No spatters. 5. Good for thick plates welding. Transfer mode disadvantages are It cannot be used for positional welding. High heat input thus high distortion. Not suitable for sheet metal welding. Let's see this video and understand how the transfer happens. Let us now learn our next metal transfer mode that is pulse transfer mode. Pulse transfer mode is a variation of the spray transfer mode. It uses a pulsing current to melt the filler wire and allow one small molten triplet to fall with each pulse. The pulse provides a stable arc and no spatter, since no short circuiting takes place. Here, the smaller well pool gives a variation greater versatility, making it possible to weld in all positions. Here maximum travel speed 85 mm S or 200 in mean. This mode required shielding gas primarily argon with a low carbon dioxide concentration. It requires a special power source capable of providing current pulses with a frequency between 30 and 400 pulses per second. It requires lower heat input and can be used to weld thin workpieces as well as non-ferrous materials. Advantages of pulse transfer mode are 1. Good fusion. 2. Small weld pool allows all position welding. 3. Low heat input process. 4. Less distortion. Disadvantages of pulse transfer mode are 1. More complex and expensive power source. 2. Difficult to set parameters. 3. But synergic easy to set. Manufacturer provides programs to suit wire type, dia, and type of gas. 4. Costly welding power machine power source. Make sure to subscribe to the material welding channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below the video.